I also remember I was afraid to actually take off my shirt in public because again, I gave too many fucks about what people would say about me regarding my body, regarding my chest. By the way, I make videos about man boobs. And again, if you guys are gonna tease me about that, I don't give a fuck. I remember my unhappiest point in life is when I start caring about what people think about me. And I think that you guys can relate to this if you were to step back in your life in high school, whether it's even in middle school even, that stages in your life, you're constantly feeling the need to satisfy others. And it's not about even satisfying yourself. Your, your definition of being satisfied in yourself is based on what other people think is right for you. The reason that they're unhappy is because they care so much about what their peers think. And when I say peers, I'm talking about our classmates, our friends, our family. You know what I mean? Even the people that we follow on Instagram, whether we know them or not. But we are constantly feeling this need for validation, this need for acceptance from, again, our peers. And it all stems from giving a fuck too much. So in this video, I want to nail down the point that the key to happiness is by not giving a fuck. All right, and I know this may sound probably mean. I don't know if it sounds mean or not, but it's really the truth. If you wanna be happy in life, if you wanna even achieve more in life and become quote unquote successful in your terms, it's really by not giving a fuck about what people think about you. Not giving a fuck about what they think about you, what you're doing and where you're going in life. So if I was to wrap it all in a nutshell, I wanna say that stoicism, that's a state of mind that you need to adapt in order to, again, gain this insight to, to live a life where you are just happy because you no longer need to be validated by your peers, all right? And when I say peers, I am talking about your classmates. I am talking about your family, your friends, cousins, again, the people that you follow on Instagram, they are your peers. And, and every moment that you are surrounded by them, or every time that you do anything, you are thinking about what they will think about what you just did. And that is the trap of unhappiness. That is a trap of unfulfillment, of never being enough. You are living in a scarcity mindset where what you are, what you have, what you're becoming is not enough because it is not validated by your peers. So in short, when you are always constantly living a life where you are chasing someone else's approval rather than your own, you automatically by default are ungrateful. You are, you, not un, I, I, you are just, you're just unhappy. This is why yogis or Buddhists are so keen on, on just mindfulness and gratitude. You know, they, they practice gratitude to be thankful for all that they have, all that they are, and just being happy in the moment because that's what they have at the moment. And they're no longer being mindful of the people around them and just basically being trapped, again, being trapped of not having enough. And when I say not having enough, I don't mean just materialistic, but not having enough validation, not having enough approval by your peers. So when you are constantly, constantly giving a fuck about what people think about you, you are almost in a standstill in life, all right? You are almost paralyzed in your ambitions because you are afraid of what, again, what they're gonna say about what you're doing. Your realm of possibility is no longer in their realm of possibility. So when you say something, you say something like, I want to be a movie star. They're, it's not in their realm of, of, of what is real, of what is possible. So you are no longer operating at their frequency, all right? And they are gonna obviously try to bring you back down to their frequency. They're gonna say that it's impossible. They're gonna think it's weird for you to have that ambition, to have that dream, and they're just gonna crush that dream for you. All right, thus you gave too much of a fuck about what that person think, and it stopped you from pursuing, from being. You know, I remember when I first started this YouTube channel, and I was afraid to do it, partly because I gave so much fucks about what people thought about my ambition. I knew that they're gonna think it's impossible. I knew they're gonna think that I'm not in shape enough, or that I am not good looking enough, or even, 
just that I sound weird or I talk too fast or I say um too much or I'm not serious enough. All right? These are all these are all fucks that I give too much about. Imagine if I gave too much fucks that I didn't pursue what I'm doing right now. This channel would have never happened. Me befriending a lot of you guys would have never happened and me making videos that can impact your life would have never happened because Again, too many fucks were given. I also remember I was afraid to actually take off my shirt in public because again, I gave too many fucks about what people would say about me regarding my body, regarding my chest. By the way, I make videos about man boobs. And again, if you guys are gonna tease me about that, I don't give a fuck. And that's the attitude that you guys need to develop. By giving so many fucks, you are never gonna be more in life. And again, the reason is you are operating at a different realm. All right, your beliefs are your beliefs. You are, your vision is your vision. Your dreams is your dream. Thus, you're operating in a frequency that is in your world alone. All right, when you, it, when you tell people about this dream, when you tell people or show people what you are wanting to do or wanting to become, they're just in another realm, man. They're in another realm of possibility. They're operating at a different frequency, okay? And again, you're operating at this frequency and your dreams following your ambition, wanting to become more. And when you tell them about it, they're gonna bring you back down into their frequency, right? So don't give a fuck and go back down to their frequency and go be going back down to their realm of possibility. Stay back up here, man, and just not give a fuck. This is probably the most swearing I've ever done in a video, but I just wanted this video to be quick and I definitely will make another video in regards to this topic. But all in all, guys, if you could get anything from this is that life is so short, all right? Life is so short. A whole decade, it's 2020, all right? A whole decade went by so quick. Imagine if you lived the past decade, all right? What would have happened in the past 10 years if you did everything you wanted to, pursued everything you wanted to pursue, and not give a fuck about what people think, and not let that stop you? Where would you be today, all right? Would you have quit your job? Would you have quit school? Would you have pursued art? Would you have pursued writing a book? Would you have pursued becoming a movie star? Whatever, there's, your ambition is your ambition. But the only thing that's stopping you is not you. It's, it's your choice to care about what people think, okay? So guys, I hope you guys got something from this video. Be sure to like this fucking video. <laughs> I, I, I don't feel right swearing too much, but be sure to like this video. And also be sure to subscribe to this channel so you get to see more videos like this. So before you leave, I just want you guys to know whatever you guys are going through, strive to be better, F the average, and be yourself. Thank you so much for watching. As always, God bless you and have a blessed day ever. I, I,